Hello and good Tuesday, January 26, 2009. I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. Today is the five year anniversary of the Teen and City Whale Explosion. After three cranes and hundreds of people organized the whale onto a truck to move it across Taiwan, from the southwestern coast to the Satsuo Wildlife Reservation area for an autopsy, the whale exploded while parked en route, causing a total mess, splattering whale guts all over the stores, cars, and a crowd of onlookers. Today, you can still find some of the whale's body parts on display at the Taizhang Cetacean Museum. In this case, the explosion occurred from a buildup of gas inside the decomposing body, and as it turns out, whales are not the only exploding animals. When combat takes a turn for the worse, ants have been known to explode all over their enemies by contracting their abdominal muscles so intensely, they burst open their bodies and spray poison in all directions. Several reports of raining fish have also fallen before us, as well as raining frogs and, of course, cats and dogs. Frogs are unique because they rain and explode. Sometimes toads will swell up with gases while they're still alive and just explode, propelling their innards distances of up to a whole meter. Today, toad explosions can be seen as one of the many causes leading to a radical decline in the overall toad population, possibly signaling the largest mass animal extinction in 65 million years. Which is some pretty serious business. DARPA is there. In an effort to prolong survival of the American animal kingdom, a $9.9 million grant has been awarded to study suspended animation, a zombie-like form of hibernation. Research focuses on a pancreatic enzyme found in squirrels, used to put humans into a state of squirrel-like hibernation, much like the anesthetized pigs they keep in tanks, as close to death as possible. So we can sleep with slow metabolism while traveling to distant galaxies, without exploding. Interest in today's anniversary brings to light the unfortunate threat to the study of exploding animals as future generations wage their own more important battles. A recent study found that many kids who are remembering hundreds of Pokemon are not learning anything at all about real animals. So Philemon was created, not only to bring the kids to real animals, but to bring the real animals to the kids. Only then will children fully appreciate the wonders of exploding animals, especially the really big ones, like today's exploding whale.